This is the navigation system for the VW ID3, as you can see right here. And I'm just going to go through all the settings and everything and, and just show you it uh, in action. Actually, we will navigate somewhere uh, in a moment. So here we are. Then here's the settings. And then you've got your route guidance options here. Lots of different options. We can add charging stopovers automatically. That's useful too. So if you're going on a long journey with your navigation, it will show you um, where you can go and charge up. We can choose to avoid motorways, avoid toll roads, avoid ferries, the usual kind of things. And then uh, avoid seasonally restricted routes. So interesting one, not, not heard of that before. And then uh, avoid traffic congestion. It's going to either ask you um, or you can just switch it off or just have it on. So it will do that for you automatically. Range warning is probably a good thing to have on because you want to make sure that you're going to get to your destination with the charge that you have. Uh, country information at border crossing, info signs on motorways and dual carriageways. That's also a good one to have on, I think. And then navigation announcements, um, whether or not you want it on. I usually have mine off personally. I don't find I really need it. Um, and then, but you can switch it on there if you want to, and then choose the level of um, the, uh, the, the kind of announcements in terms of detail uh, and whether you want it on during calls. Because obviously if you're on a phone call to someone and then you suddenly get a, a big turn left at the next roundabout, it could be a bit annoying. So you can deal with that. And then you've got the volume there as well. So that's that one. And then the basic functions, um, learn usage pattern. Really not sure what that's about. Sorry, I uh, will have to look that one up. Uh, then over here, we've got charging station. You can choose what sort of points of interest you would like displayed on your mapping. A demo mode, I don't know. We can have a look at that in a little while. Contacts, if you've got your contacts loaded up, you'll be able to easily find their address and then navigate there. Here's the actual main map. And then your destinations here, you can you know, put in all your different things. You've got suggested ones, last destinations, and your favorite destinations as well there. If we go to uh, map, the map's really quite good. Uh, you can see like this is where we are and then it would go to there if we've set a destination. We've got a real quick and easy way to turn on and off the navigation announcements, which I think is a real pain for a lot of people in a lot of cars. Uh, I drive a lot of cars and, and sometimes you cannot work out how to shut the navigation up. Well, this is how you do it here. So you just compress that. And then you can choose how you want the navigation to look, whether you want it in kind of night mode, automatic or day mode. So I'll just do that. Uh, range, whether you, you want your range taken into account, uh, you can turn that on and off here. Obviously, it being an electric car. And then this just takes us straight down now to the position that I'm in. And you can also pinch and zoom as well like this. So that's quite useful and move things around. Um, there you go. You can see we are there. Now, the other good thing um, with the navigation is, and you'll see this in a moment when I film this, is what happens is just up here and the very front of the dashboard is this big, long LED light. And if you're going right, it will kind of light up over here. And if, if you need to be going left shortly, it will show you over there. So it's very, very good for, for sort of a visual um, you know, representation of what you're supposed to be doing and when. And then in here as well, they actually have the uh, navigation. You can choose to see like the arrows and things going left and right here and how long you've got before you've got to turn off. So I think the navigation, the standard navigation on this car is actually pretty good. Um, compared to a lot of cars when you feel like you, you're just going to get Android Auto out or Apple CarPlay and use their navigation, we know with Google, um, in, you know, this one is actually good enough to use and it does a quite a good job of avoiding traffic as well, I found too. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in uh, a destination not too far away, maybe a golf club, and then we'll drive there using the navigation and I'll put the camera in a position whereby you can see what's going on.
So we've arrived successfully at our destination using the VW ID3's built-in navigation. Hopefully um, with the camera angle there, you were able to see uh, both this screen had the directions as well as over here on the main screen. Now, the other thing that I noticed uh, that as we were going along there is the light at the top of the, the dashboard there was not working for a while. However, when I turned on voice guidance, it did start working. So it seems that it won't give you uh, any visual indication using the light at the top here, uh, unless you have the voice turned on on your nav. So that's something to think about. But um, if you like this video, then please do like and subscribe and I'll do more videos like this to help you kind of make decisions about these electric cars and whether or not they're for you. Um, the way that I get my cars is actually through On2. You can find a discount coupon underneath. Uh, it'll get you £50 off your first month. And basically, you just subscribe to the car rather than leasing it in a big long contract or owning it. And it's a, just a lot better way of having the car. You can just have it month by month, give it back when you want. It's a really good flexible system that's ideal for this day and age. So check that out underneath. But if you decide to join on to then uh, don't forget to use that voucher code because you'll get 50 pounds off and then I get 50 pounds off as well um, so we both benefit all right great thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next video